Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing my July beauty favorites and sharing with you guys some of my favorite products from the month of July. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, then just give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. My first favorite this month is from Urban Decay and this is their new color correcting fluid, the Naked Skin one in the shade Peach. I absolutely love this. You guys, this has changed my makeup game like for real. I was never really big on the color correcting trend. Like I just never really tried it out like significantly. Like I had used some green color correctors before like back in the day to try to color correct some of my redness but I had never really used an under eye color corrector or at least not one that is as good as this. This is amazing for your under eyes. I'll swatch for you guys. It's definitely a very kind of light peachy salmon -y color and it is so incredibly amazing at just concealing your dark circles. Like they have a whole line, so they do have other shades as well. They have a more pink toned one, purple one, a blue one, a green one, a yellow one I think. They have a lot, but this one has been my absolute favorite. And I like that it's not too dark because for lighter skin girls like me, sometimes the peachy like under eye correctors are too peachy and then I feel like they just kind of like don't add the brightness that I'm looking for where this one really does a good job of like canceling out those purple blue undertones while also brightening so I really really like this and it doesn't cause your concealer to crease because I had tried a color corrector before for the under eye area I believe it was from NYX and I really liked what it did but then when I layered my concealer on top of it it caused it to crease no matter what I did and I knew that the concealer on its own did not crease so it had to have been the color corrector where this one does not do that so I absolutely love it I'm a big fan of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer to begin with so I figured that I was gonna like these but I was very excited to try this out this month and I have been using it non-stop. Next I have a lip gloss. This one is from Bare Minerals. Now if you guys follow me on Instagram you will know that I like super glossy lips although today I'm wearing a completely matte one but typically I'm really big into glossy lips and this month was no different and this lip gloss you guys is so glossy and so beautiful it's kind of like a hollow I was gonna say holographic but I don't think that's the term but it's definitely like iridescent maybe is that what I'm looking for but if you guys can see that swatched it is just so glowy and so so pretty on the lips it just gives the most prettiest glow to your lips like literally just so pretty and I am obsessed with it and it does not like leave your lips so like really sticky because I think a lot of lip glosses that kind of have this like holographic really water like look to your lips can be like really sticky and this one is not like that at all but it does last so it's kind of like the best of both worlds so I really really love this my next favorite is a brow product and this is from Benefit's new brow line and this is their High Brow Glow. Basically what this is is a highlighting stick. They call it a luminous brow highlighting pencil and what you can do is you can sculpt out your brows with this and look at how beautiful and glowy that is. It is literally amazing. I personally still sculpt out my brows with concealer and then I go in with this, but I love that it's like a fine, well it's not super fine tip, but it's like not as a big as like a highlighter stick for the face would be. So it makes it really easy to get into your brow and like really get in those arches and those angles to really emphasize out the brow. So I have been loving this because you guys know I always really like to like highlight my brow bone area. So this has made it so, so easy. And they do have a more natural one as well because this one is like very pigmented and very shimmery which I personally like but they have a more natural one too if you want something a little more toned down but you still kind of like the idea of the highlighter pencil. Then I have two eyeliners. The first one is from the drugstore and this is L'Oreal's Silk Gissimi. I'm probably totally butchering that. I'm going to put it in the description box. I'll put all the products that I'm talking about down below but I tried this out in my full face of first impressions and it was like the first time I used it. You guys, this is so pigmented. Like I literally just barely touched my hand with that. Like for the drugstore, this is so amazing. Like I have high-end products that are not as pigmented as this liner is. Like I literally just put it on my waterline and one swoosh, I'm done. It's like pure black and it doesn't budge. So I really, really like this. It's a very, very creamy, very nice, but just so incredibly pigmented that I had to share with you guys because typically, you know, eyeliners aren't that fun. Um, at least I don't really think so. But I tried this out and was like, whoa, this is crazy pigmented. And I mean, I think it's like six dollars or something like that so definitely worth the money in my opinion definitely better than a lot of the high-end liners that I had so I did have to share this although this product I only use in my waterline I wouldn't use it to actually create a wing or anything just because I don't like pencil products like this to do that 
So the next liner is what I've been using to create my wings and this is amazing. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Pen. Now I'm typically not a big fan of liner pens like this. I just feel like they can dry out really easy and they always tend to fray like right in here in my inner corner. They'll like fray out because they never will stay put in there. Although this one said it was waterproof but so do a lot of other ones that I've tried that like suck for lack of a better term. But this is so pigmented. Like, okay, crazy, crazy pigmented, and I love that it has a super fine tip, so it makes it really, really easy to really just get in there and create your line, whatever kind of line you want to do. I did use it today on my winged liner, so I love that it's really pigmented. I love the precise tip, but I was still super nervous to bring it all the way into my inner corner because I was like, this, I feel like it's going to fray because it's very kind of liquidy when you first use it, which is good because it's not drying, but I was like, this is going to go everywhere brought it in like can you guys see I literally did my liner like probably five plus hours ago no fraying going on literally exactly where I put it so this stuff is truly waterproof and that is very hard to find especially for me because I have very watery eyes so literally any liner that I put in there ends up fraying out and this one does not so this deserves like some kind of award because I was like okay that is amazing so I really really love this my next two favorites you guys have already seen, but these two together this month have been everything to me. If you guys watch my foundation routine, you've already seen them, but the first one is the Radiance Activator. This is from the Estee Edit, and I'll link my foundation routine down below so you guys can see both of these in action, but I am wearing both of them today on my face, and this is basically like a serum, although it does have a little bit of a glow to it, but it's more of a skincare product with a little bit of makeup in it to give you that glow. But I absolutely love this because it gives the most beautiful glow to your skin while also helping your skin in the long run because of the serum. So I have been applying this every day beneath my foundation and it just looks so beautiful, so gorgeous and helps with my dry skin. And my favorite foundation this month was the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. This is the foundation that I did use in my updated foundation routine. I'm wearing it today. I love it. It's literally amazing. I struggled at first to try and find a shade that fit me, but I finally got the shade right. This is in Jubilant. It's RG60, and I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. If you are looking for a dewy, glowy, medium to full coverage foundation, give this a try. You will not regret it. Like I said, I'll link my foundation routine down below if you want to see both of these products in action and me actually demoing them and using them. Now since I've been using more glowy and dewy products this month, I stopped setting my entire face with powder because if you guys have watched my channel for a while, you'll know I always set my whole face with powder just to make sure my foundation and concealer and everything was set, but now I'm only setting where I conceal underneath my eyes and leaving the rest of my face dewy and glowy. So because I started to do that, two products have been my absolute must-haves that I'm using every day now, and this first one is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. So I spray this all over my face when I'm done doing my makeup. This is like a finishing spray, and I use this now because I feel like my makeup like never sets since I'm not setting it with a powder, I feel like I have to do something or it's never gonna set. So I've been using this and I really, really like it. It's helping my makeup stay on all day, even though I'm not setting everything with powder. Cause I always was like the kind of person like, you have to set it with powder or it's just gonna slide off your face, especially when it's super hot in New Jersey. So this has helped a lot to keep my makeup on my face while still giving me that dewy skin look. And my next must have for keeping my skin looking fresh all day and my makeup still looking nice are these blotting tissues. These are from Zahn Cosmetics and these are their 24 seven oil blotting tissues. And they have a bunch of different ones but my favorite one are the rose powdered ones. And I have had one of these in all of my purses literally all month. These are a godsend you guys. Basically what these are is they're oil blotting tissues like your regular oil blotting tissues but they're different because they have powder on them which is amazing. So you literally just take them out like this and they have some translucent powder and you can just run these on your nose, above your upper lip, chin, forehead. Those are the areas for me that tend to get oily throughout the day and blot away any excess oil that you might have. But since it has that powder, it's not going to pick up your makeup because I've tried so many oil blotting sheets and I feel like they're taking my makeup off my face. Like, yeah, they're getting the oil off, but they're also removing my makeup. So it ends up looking worse after I use them where these don't do that because they're basically applying a little bit of powder for you while also picking up that oil. So I love these because they're like the only oil blotting sheets that I could find that actually keep your makeup on and help you with your excess oil. And they're all natural, so they haven't irritated my skin. I haven't had any issues with them at all. I have been loving them. So I've had them in my purse literally all month and using them because it can get so hot and humid in New Jersey. So when you're wearing dewy makeup and it's hot and humid, 
you're going to need something like this. So I have been loving these. They're amazing. I'll put a link in the bottom bar for you guys to where you can get them. But like I said, they have a bunch of different kinds, but my favorite are the rose powdered ones. My next favorite is an eyeshadow palette and it is from Morphe. This is the 35N palette. I haven't tried that many Morphe eyeshadow palettes, but I get a lot of requests from you guys to do tutorials with Morphe palettes because I think a lot of you guys have them because they are so affordable for what you get. Like they're a really, really great deal. So I got this one. It comes with 35 different shades, and the majority of them are neutrals, although it does have some like pops of color, some pinks, and some purples as well, which I liked, which makes it a little bit fun. And I have really been liking this. They're all matte, and I like my shimmer shadows, but I feel like this month I've been doing very glowy skin and like kind of matte eyes. Like I've been doing the glowiness on my skin and not so much on the eyes. So I've really been like diving into this a lot, and I think for the price that you pay, the quality of these shadows is really, really amazing because I honestly was kind of expecting them to be like kind of chalky, like to be honest with you guys, and not really great pigmentation, but they are very, very pigmented. So, I mean, I have been really impressed with these shades and with this palette specifically because I just feel like, honestly, like this is kind of like a one-fits-all palette. I want to get the 350, I think it's called. I think a lot of people talk about that one. But I don't think it's in stock. I don't know. I have to look on their website. But so far, I've really been liking this one. So I do want to get a couple other of their palettes because I just feel like this is a really great everyday palette. You could bring this on vacation and not really need anything else or when you're traveling or whatever. So very impressed with this and the quality of these shadows for the price. Then I have another lippy. This one is from Gerard Cosmetics. This is one of their new um, liquid lipsticks. or I think they call them Hydra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And they reformulated them, I believe, because they have a new smell. And they smell really, really nice. They smell like cupcakes, which I like. I don't think they really smelled like anything before, so now they have a scent. Um, but this shade, I think, is so, so pretty. Just like a beautiful mauve color. This one is in the shade Skinny Dip, and I just, as soon as I saw it, was like, yes, because I have really been into these mauves. I shared another one with you guys last month of my favorites, I think, or it might have been in a haul, but another one from Bare Minerals that I really liked, and this one I really like as well. And I love the way it smells. It smells so, so good. So I thought this was really pretty. And this is one of their new shades as well. They literally like just came out with this. And my last favorite this month is from NYX. And this is the Pro Foundation Mixer in the shade Warmth. So basically what this is is like an orange colored liquid. I'll swatch it for you guys so you can see it's a very orange. But the purpose of this is that you can apply this into your foundation to make it more warm toned. So... I thought this was really cool because I had never really heard anybody talk about this because whenever it comes summer, you know, I get a lot more tan than I am in the winter, so you basically buy a whole new foundation, new shade, whatever, but this kind of alleviates you from having to do that because now you can make your foundation warmer without having to go and get a whole new foundation. So they have a couple of these. I think there's one that can actually just make your foundation darker. This one is the warmer one, which I tend to like because I get a little more warmth in my skin when the summer comes. And also a lot of times my foundations aren't warm enough for my skin, so this kind of helps to make them that perfect shade. So you can mix in however much you need. But I really thought this was a cool concept. I don't know if like any other companies came out with this, but I just thought it was really cool. So I have been using this and it's kind of made me so I don't have to keep buying so many different shades of foundation to keep up with my different shades of tanness. Because you guys know, you know, I use self-tanner and then I will get naturally tan in the sun, like in the summer and stuff. So it's a struggle to try and make sure that your foundation is always matching if you only have a few shades. So this has been very helpful and I just thought it was like a really cool product. I hadn't really seen anything else like that. So I have used this quite a few times this month to kind of perfect my foundation. So yeah, those are all of my favorites for the month of July. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye!